You've got your, what I'm going to show you is how to figure out any equation you need from the combined gas law and then to actually use it. So we've got our PV over T is equal to PV over T, you know, P1, and then we got 2 over here. Now, if temperature is not given to us, here's all, all you do. You just cross off temperature, and there's your equation that you're going to use. Wow. Okay, well, I'm saying it makes it simple. It makes it easy. You only got to remember one. I know it's not exactly rocket science, but it still helps to see. Now, we look at our question. If we took two liters of gas at one atmosphere, okay, here's what you've got to do. I recommend that for every problem you do, in this case, we need P1, V1, and then P2 and V2. I recommend you write out your variables until you get comfortable doing this. Eventually, you won't have to. Uh, and, and we figure out what goes in each spot. So, so, if we took two liters of gas, so two liters right there, that's our first volume measurement, so I'd write it right there, volume one. Okay, and at one atmosphere, and I told you atmosphere is a pressure unit, so you write down 1.0 atmospheres. I mean, like I said, this is meant to be relatively straightforward, yeah. Why is that the thing at the bottom? What? What? That's the answer. Oh. All right. Next up, uh, if we, okay, so here's the deal. The way these problems work, you're given a starting set of data, something happens, a change occurs, and then you're given new data. So you, so we've now got to establish, okay, uh, you know, such and such compressed it to a pressure of 6.0 times 10 to the fourth atmospheres. So a compression occurred, change occurred, that's your new pressure. So write that down. Um, they can never ask temperature from just giving those. Right? No, I mean, well, you got to have another temperature. you got to have a first temperature, though. Now, it then says what would the volume of that gas be, so now you've got to solve for V2. And you can just make it X if you want. I don't care. I, I didn't say it's hard. So all you do, you plug your stuff in, and you solve for V2 in this case. That's it. So, so you just go, you know. Uh, so we're solving for V2. All you've got to do is do some really basic algebra, and you will be fine. What's 1 times 2? Two? 2. 2, yeah. Now, I'm going to write out all the uh, all of the units just so you can see it. Thank you. Thank you. Abby. Now, just to show you, I mean, what units is our volume going to be in? Our second volume. What units should it be in? Whatever we started with, it'll be liters. But just to show you today, I mean, so we'll multiply 1 times 2. So that gives us 2 atmospheres times liters is equal to. Uh, yeah. Go grab uh, that top pick. And it makes sense to do it if not. I'll show you more, okay? Or you just check the website later. Now, we're here. We just simply divide. I'm again. I know this is like you know, I don't do this, but I'm just doing it to prove my point. Now, notice that there's a reason I showed you this. I know you know how to do this, but look at your units. The ATMs cancel. You're left with liters alone, which is again the whole point of this. And your V2 ends up being what in this case? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So that is how you do a, a really simple gas law problem. Really simple. You identify your variables, you figure out what equation you're using, and then you just simply do the math to solve.